Joining me now, International Security Director for the London-based Asia Pacific Foundation, Dr. Sajen Gohel. Doctor, thank you for being with us. Security speaking, what is your greatest concern now? What are you monitoring as the situation develops? Well, I think one of the challenges is that as we see Israeli warplanes retaliating uh, in, with airstrikes on the Gaza Strip targeting uh, Hamas, uh, we are also seeing that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has called up the reservists. He has declared war uh, on Hamas. You are potentially witnessing the buildup to a ground operation in the Gaza Strip. That's going to be very problematic because no doubt Hamas had prepared for that when they launched their initial strike into uh, Israel. The key has to be the individuals, the Israeli citizens, those that have dual citizenship, those that were taken hostage by Hamas, they need to be released uh, unharmed because this is where the problem has really escalated. And it doesn't just involve Israel. It involves also the United States too, because many of these people, as I mentioned, have dual nationality. And seeing the photos and videos of those people being held captive, the optics of that are, of course, very disturbing. And it's brought a new dynamic to the Israel-Palestine conflict that perhaps we had not witnessed previously. And Hamas is the X factor here. They have carried out these evil acts. But I want you to talk historically, if you would, for a moment, doctor, about what led to the events of this weekend going back decades between Israel and Palestine. Well, this is principally a very old issue of, of territory and land and dispute as to who owns it, controls it, uh, and, and occupies it. And Perennially, there's always been that dispute between the Israelis and the Palestinians uh, historically over, over the uh, various different agreements that were made through the UN, through the Camp David Accords, the disputes that were involved. They don't just necessarily involve Israel and the Palestinians. There can be disagreements between Hamas and Fatah, for example, uh, over this. And many times in the past, we've seen the small glimmer of hope that there can be a resolution. And then somehow we end up taking several steps backwards. So this is very problematic in the kingdom of heaven, where you have three great religions uh, and their origins there. It unfortunately tends to lead to more violence and chaos than actual any resolution. And do you share the concern by many that Hezbollah may get involved? Well, Hezbollah has already tested uh, the northern uh, border of uh, Israel by firing a, a rocket. Uh, into uh, northern Israel uh, on the weekend. Israel did not react, and I think that's important to uh, point out. But it is also significant that just like with Hamas, Hezbollah is supported by uh, Iran, and they could potentially uh, escalate the, the, the problem by wanting to test Israel on its northern border. So you could see a multi-pronged uh, conflict uh, emerge. That hasn't happened, thankfully, but it does seem that Israel is taking some precautions. They are taking some of the people that live in villages near the border with Lebanon away from their homes in case the situation uh, deteriorates further. So we'll have to watch that space. And ultimately, if we talk about Hamas, we talk about Hezbollah, Iran comes up very frequently because of the fact that Iran does provide very tangible support to both of those groups. I want to point out, uh, Doctor, on our screen, this is a live shot of Gaza, and we've seen the explosions going off in the last couple of minutes ongoing, and we are noting that power seems to be out in a number of areas after this barrage of missile attacks. Uh, Netanyahu has positioned himself as strong on security, his political future, though, on the line now. What type of response do you s expect from, from him? Well, this could well decide his political future because, as you mentioned, uh, Netanyahu is known as Mr. Security. He has pretty much based his entire career and reputation on being able to provide security for uh, Israel. That has been severely tested because when you saw the incursion by Hamas on Saturday, it wasn't just a, a failure on one level. It was a failure on multiple scales, failure of human and signals intelligence, failure of land, air, and sea intelligence, even failure when it comes to Israel's own allies being able to provide information. And Israel has faced a lot of internal problems because it's very much divided over Prime Minister Netanyahu's judicial overhaul of the independence of Israel's court. So then that has a knock-on effect when it comes to Israel's political stability. And for the past 10 months, there have been thousands of Israelis protesting against those 
uh, proposals. And what that has meant is there has been a shortfall in Israel's security apparatus because many reservists have refused to take part in active duty. So all of that combined has created this situation that we are now witnessing. And unfortunately, it's only going to probably lead to further deterioration of relations between the Israelis and the Palestinians. And we will probably see more fatalities emerge in the coming hours and days. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.